Man sees primate digging in mud, can't believe what it finds. The chimpanzee's back was turned to Lucas. It was clear to him that he had found whatever he was digging for. But as he walked around the chimp to see what was in his hands, the chimp quickly hid it away. This object had become the chimpanzee's dark obsession, but as soon as Lucas managed to sneak a glance at the artifact it held, he feared for his life. Lucas was in love with a chimpanzee named Isaac. He had been brought into the zoo ten years before Lucas started working there. After Isaac's parents were tragically killed by poachers, the Christensen Zoo volunteered to take him in. With most zoos in Africa already having many chimps, Isaac would have been bullied by the others. Here in Norway, though, he was the only one of his kind. But Lucas would learn sooner or later that Isaac had something dire to hide. Lucas had been keeping an eye on Isaac for a few months, feeding and bonding with him. But soon, his behavior changed strangely. He went from a happy-go-lucky chimp to one that seemed focused and driven on only one thing digging. It started small. He would uncover a bit of mud with his bare hands. Lucas wrote it off as him looking for worms or out of boredom. But if he had known the real reason, he would have tried to intervene. Over the next few weeks, the digging turned into an obsession. Isaac barely slept and barely ate. All he wanted to do was dig, and he had even upgraded his equipment. He had switched from using his hands to using whatever he could find. His most recent discovery was that a stick worked a lot better than his hands. He had started to use that to dig deeper than he could have before. But Lucas wouldn't be ready for the explanation. Isaac's eyes looked different. This was a dark obsession that was consuming him. Lucas wondered if he didn't have some kind of illness that made him act so strange. He knew he had to intervene. But by the time Lucas got permission to go into Isaac's enclosure to check what he was doing, the primate would have already dug up what he was looking for. And it would change Lucas' life forever. The chimpanzee's back was turned to Lucas. It was clear to him that he had found whatever he was digging for. But as he walked around the chimp to see what was in his hands, the chimp quickly hid it away. This object had become the chimpanzee's dark obsession, but as soon as Lucas managed to sneak a glance at the artifact it held, he feared for his life. All Lucas could tell at first was that it was sharp. He moved back a bit to give Isaac some room. He didn't want to end up on the wrong end of the sharp object that he had. But when Isaac noticed the fear in his zookeeper's eyes, he decided to show him. Isaac opened his palm and showed it to Lucas. Lucas couldn't believe what he was looking at. It had to be of Viking origin and at least 1,000 years old. The object was, in fact, an arrowhead. Lucas could tell that it was very old. It must have been long buried and forgotten before the zoo even existed. He imagined how it must have belonged to a Viking from centuries ago. The Viking would have probably looked a lot like Lucas since Norway is one of the original settlements for the ancient people. Lucas knew he had to show someone what Isaac had found. Lucas knew that his chimp friend wouldn't give up the arrow hit easily. He had been obsessed with finding it over the last few months that he wouldn't just give it to him. But then Lucas thought of an idea. He negotiated with Lucas. After an hour of coaxing with the best food the zoo could offer, Isaac finally traded the arrowhead for a yellow bunch of bananas and other assorted fruit. Now Lucas could have the arrowhead examined. Lucas had the arrowhead examined by a man named Bjorn Peterson from the University of Agder. He was a professor of archaeology and managed to tell him a few things about the object. It was quite a special artifact. He told Lucas that it dates to the Iron Age, around 1,000 years ago. It was 4.6 inches long and would have been a prized arrowhead for a hunter at the time. Lucas decided to donate the arrowhead to a museum where everyone would get the chance to see it. 